So it is a beautiful day outside. Summer is coming up, but of course we don't care about that because I have a YouTube channel to grow. Today for you guys, I want to focus more on the programming melodies without a MIDI keyboard because I don't have one. Well, I do have one, it's over there. <laughs> we're gonna try and make it as innovative as we possibly can. I think we're gonna be focusing on about one, two, eight, maybe dance pop, because I've done so much dubstep, so much future bass, so much house, and we'll try our best to not turn it into a house track. Let's go. So basically I've chosen a couple sounds I think I might use. So they're kind of soft, but got a bit of character at the same time. We're gonna go with kind of like four chords. Two will be the same. This is very sci-fi, this sound. But I just want to get the harmony of what chords I want. Now I'm thinking about the harmonic rhythm, like, which is basically, when does it change chords? How quickly does it change chords? And then a gap, and then like, maybe that goes there. Cool. So now we've got to do a chord progression with that. Okay. Oh. Fix these chords. Woo! And that literally took like 20 minutes. Get this uh, octave lower as well. Could get more of these chords. Again, this sound is so particular. Something like this, yeah? One more of these. What I might do is group this one in the instrument rack, like so. Open it up, get this sound and drag it into the second chain. So now they're playing the same thing, they're doubled and we can get a nice blend of sounds. And only use one track. But what I'm going to do is get this pitch, minus 12, this one. Throw it on this, this. I need to randomize the space of these. I've got a groove that says 20% random. And it's okay if we spent most of our time on that because at least we got a better direction of what we actually want to do. Now I want this vibrato on it. If you know which tools can get you the sound you want, then it's, everything's going to be quicker. So if there's a particular sound and vibe you want that you hear on your favorite songs, you have to know how it's made, what effect does it or what type of synthesis does it, you know? Without that, you're not really going to be able to get things exactly how you want to have them. I might redux on it as well. That's nice, take off some of the wetness. I want them plucked to come. And it needs some kind of filter on it, but I don't know what. So this is just a guess. That's interesting. That's nice, what is that? Good. A kick drum, four to the floor kick drum and a melody that should sort us out for the next part. I'm leaving that kick there for now. I need a melody though. Put the scale on D minor glide. Weak, but better. I'm gonna throw this kalimba inside of this instrument rack, I mean, but we need to drop that, don't we? Something like this. This could be plucky, this, this thing. I 
and then I think a reverb will help glue them together. And then what we need to do as well, I think, is randomize the velocity a bit. That was probably the best move I've made so far, and it was so simple. I want one sub bass and another bass, a different kind of bass, and they're gonna work together like a team. Yeah, let's do that. Now I can hear the melodies wrong. Should end on E. I don't know, I've never done this groove, so. Now, we get a second bass in. That's not a sub, something nasty, something new. One of these bad boys. <laughs> this is the one. It's weird. That's better, the grooves that you need <laughs> to find, this is ridiculous. Uh, I've got another one. I don't know. These are not the drums that I want, man. Now we get proper groove. Uh, same groove for this one. Bam, 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 bam. We're just gonna chop some of that. No rides. Maybe that kind of pattern. That's better. One of them drill patterns. <laughs> drill. I hope you guys get to see that, you know, when you're making music almost every single day, it's such a challenge to try and make something amazing each and every single time. So I think what's more important is that you're experimenting and learning new skills, learning your software better, trying different styles, and then you'll improve that way. I could do another video where I'm making something I'm way more comfortable with, with like anything at 140 BPM, but dubstep and EDM trap and moving house, I've done it so much that it's good to step away from it sometimes and try and do new styles that you've wanted to do and try, but you've never actually given it the time. One tambourine. Some white noise. Really short noise. That's the one. Whoop that. Take out bass. Repitch. Some of these, there's gonna be something in here, trust me. So cheesy. It's short. That's alright, better than nothing. <laughs> that one is interesting. <laughs> I'm coming out with those randomest ideas. This is random. Maybe a... Uh... Reverb. Redux it. <laughs> 11. Filter it. So it's got this weird instability that I like about it. It's like what the dis what the string section in a disco track will do. And what we need to do is put a shifter on it before it goes into everything, just to make sure it's perfectly in key. This is weird. Where does the arc go? First half, definitely. Oh. This is what happens when you experiment. It's 
So I hope you learned some cool things. Let me know what you think of this one down in the comments below. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff. And I'm gonna see you in the next video. Peace.